looked in the mirror and saw a girl I didn't recognize. She had a busted lip, bruised cheek, and a black eye. And I could see the look of pain on her face as she put the towel to the place where he had just recently put his fist to her face. I saw how she jumped at little noises and triple thought her choices because she didn't know what he was going to do. Like, one minute they cool and laughing. The next minute for air, she choking, gasping, wondering, what the hell did I do? And when it was over, it was always the same. He'd walk away like he was the victor of a game. Come back, toss her a towel and say, clean up. Shit. I'll be back in a little while. And it used to make her sick because whenever he would leave, she could see him smile. And I heard her say, I hope that he don't come back. But if he do, I pray he come back dead. Pray that he pop fly and a real nigga put a bullet in his head. I looked in the mirror and saw a girl I didn't recognize. I saw her searching for herself behind blackened eyes. So I stopped and asked her like, yo, what happened? Cause you don't look like the type to be locked up or trapped in. And she looked at me and said, if you're asking me to explain, I wouldn't know where to start. Cause the last time that I checked, he told me that I had his heart. I mean, I really didn't trip the first time we argued and he called me a bitch because truth be told, my mouth was slick. Why well, didn't I leave? Trust me, I tried. But the last time I did, he drugged me in the bathroom and locked me inside. When he let me out, he had taken all of my clothes. He told me if I could leave, I wasn't leaving with those. And that's a weekend that I'd never forget. Cause if I didn't do what he wanted, I'd get hit, bit, burned by cigarettes. But Monday morning, his face was filled with so much regret. And that's how I know my guy is still somewhere in there deep down inside. Even when he acted crazy, and I could see the devil in his eyes. As I looked in the mirror and I put on my makeup, I thought of what I would make up to tell everyone why we made up. I learned to cover up our story like you cover up a bruise. You can paint a pretty picture, but underneath, you know the truth. I looked in the mirror and saw a girl I didn't recognize, even though that girl was staring me right in my eyes. <laughs>